Today we are going to learn about quadrilaterals. Your notes are going to be extra important today because you'll need to refer to them for each problem. The first kind of quadrilateral we're going to learn about is a parallelogram. To be a parallelogram, our shape needs to have opposite sides equal in length opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles have the same size. Make sure you write all three of those things down. While you're finishing that up, you can either pause it or I'm going to start drawing a couple of examples. So here is one parallelogram. So the opposite sides are equal in length, so this side and this side are equal in length, and this side and this side are equal in length. Then the second bullet point, opposite sides are parallel, so this and this are parallel, and this and this are parallel. Then the opposite angles have the same size, so this angle and this angle are the same, and this angle and this angle are the same size. Here's a second example. This is also a parallelogram. So opposite sides are equal. That's equal with that. That's equal with that. Opposite sides are parallel. So that's parallel. And those are parallel. And then the opposite angles have the same size. So this is 90, that's 90, that's 90, and that's 90. And one more example. This is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. And the opposite angles have the same size. So these are three examples of parallelograms. Our second kind of quadrilateral is called a rectangle. And here are the things that a rectangle has to have. First of all, the opposite sides are equal in length, just like our parallelogram. The opposite sides are parallel, just like our parallelogram. But here's the only difference. A rectangle has four right angles, whereas the parallelogram can have any kind of angles. So here's an example of a rectangle. The opposite sides are equal in length. The opposite sides are parallel, so those sides are parallel, those sides are parallel, and it has four right angles. It's kind of a mess after I draw that in. Hopefully it makes sense. Here's another example of a rectangle. The opposite sides are equal in length, so the left and the right side are equal in length. The top and the bottom are equal in length. The opposite sides are parallel, so the top and the bottom are parallel. The left and the right are parallel, and it has four right angles. This can also be a rectangle. So the opposite sides are equal. This is equal with this. And these are also equal. Opposite sides are parallel. And four right angles. So those are rectangles. Third, we have a rhombus. Be a rhombus, a quadrilateral needs to have four equal sides. And the opposite sides need to be parallel. Okay, so here's a rhombus. All four sides have to be equal. I draw these little lines because I'm not perfect at drawing them. So they all have like a little tally mark on it. So that's to show that they all are the same length, even if my drawing skills aren't perfect.
perfect. So all four sides are equal, and then the opposite sides are parallel. So those are parallel lines, and these are parallel lines. So that is a rhombus. Let's do one more example of a rhombus. This can be a rhombus as well, because we have four equal sides, so all four sides are equal, and the opposite sides are parallel. So the left and right are parallel, top and bottom are parallel. Um, so those are both examples of a rhombus. And next, oh, there's one more. I guess we do have three. So same thing, four equal sides. All those sides are equal. And the opposite sides are parallel. So those are parallel. And those are parallel. And now we're on to square. To be a square, a quadrilateral needs to have four equal sides. It's the same as the rhombus. Opposite sides need to be parallel, just like the rhombus. But square has to have one extra thing. It needs to have four right angles, whereas the rhombus could have any size angles. So here's an example, two examples of squares. So they have four equal sides, so that, 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 and that are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. And this has to have these four right angles. Same thing with the second. Then we have our second example here. Also has four equal sides. Opposite sides are parallel. And it has four right angles. It's just tilted sideways. Okay, then last of all, we have a trapezoid. To be a trapezoid, it needs to have exactly one pair of parallel sides. And that is its only bullet point. So here is a trapezoid. It has exactly one pair of parallel sides. So this and this are parallel, except my white lines aren't very good. And then here's another example of a trapezoid. So it has exactly one pair of parallel lines. So this one and this one. And the other lines are not parallel. If we kept these lines going, they would cross. If we kept these lines going, eventually they're going to cross. So that is a trapezoid. Now that we have all that, we can do some questions. We're going to do a couple less since we're already past eight minutes here. I try to keep these under 10 when possible. This one might be a little bit longer. So here are our instructions. We need to classify the quadrilateral that I'll draw in as many ways as possible. So some of these shapes can be more than one of these kinds. So here is our first quadrilateral. I'm just going to go down in order of our shapes that we did and see if it fits. So first was parallelogram. So the opposite sides are equal in length. The opposite sides are parallel. And the opposite angles are the same. So this can be a parallelogram. Let's see if it can be a rectangle. The opposite sides are equal in length. Opposite sides are parallel and has four right angles. So that shape can be a rectangle. Can it be a rhombus? The opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. And it, 
it does have four equal sides, which I already said. So, it is a rhombus. Can this be a square? To be a square, it needs to have four equal sides, which it does. Opposite sides are parallel, which they are, and 490 degrees. So this can be a square. Can it be a trapezoid, which has only and exactly one pair of parallel lines? No, because this has two. So that's the only one that this one cannot be. So that is the first example. Here is our second example. Can this be a parallelogram? Are the opposite sides equal? Yes. Are the opposite sides parallel? Yes. And are the opposite angles the same? Yes. So it is a parallelogram. Oh, there we go. Parallelogram. Can this be a rectangle? Well, it doesn't have any right angles, so no. Can it be a rhombus? No, because all four sides have to be the same, and only the opposite sides are. Can it be a square? No, because it doesn't have right angles. Can it be a trapezoid? No, because it has more than one set of parallel lines. So this shape is only a parallelogram. I'm going to have you just try one with me instead of two. So here's the next one. So, can this be a parallelogram? Can it be a rectangle? Can it be a rhombus? Can it be a square? Can it be a trapezoid? You need to decide. Pause it if you need to. And then unpause it to see which kind of quadrilaterals it can be. Okay, so this can be a parallelogram, this can be a rectangle, and that is it. On to the four problems. The same instructions, you need to classify the quadrilateral in as many ways as possible. Some may have up to four, some may only be one, some might be somewhere there in between. You'll bring these four into class tomorrow, and I'll check them. So that's number one. Number two, same thing, classify this quadrilateral in as many ways as possible. Number three, And last of all, number four. Thank you for watching today's lesson, and enjoy the rest of your day.